Hi guys, I'm Chef Rich and I'm here to make you a better chef. I cook for the rich and famous and I've learned a lot of tricks over the years and we're going to show them to you. Here's what most people don't know. It's real important when you get started to have everything out in front of you that you're going to use. Pretty much, you know, these items, almost any meal you make. So, let's start from the right. First is my favorite little thing and that is a garbage bowl. Instead of having to dig down or around or whatever, you're going to have that garbage bowl right there. So as you cut along, your little bits and pieces can go straight into that bowl. You can put it in here this way. It's going to fill up fast because it's always surprising how much refuse you get when you're cooking. Two, two decent towels for picking up hot pans, for wiping things off. You don't want them too big. You want them just the right size. You know, this is actually, you know, these are going to be inexpensive. If they get dirty and messed up, you throw them away in the end, you know. Decent cutting board. Now what I always do is I take a moist towel or paper towel, and I moistened already, I'll put that there. This will keep that board from going anywhere. Once you cut copying and cutting, it'll stay right there. You know, otherwise it's, you're chasing it around. That's a good thing. Good peeler, because almost always peeling something, carrots or beets or you name it. But peelers are great. You can do you know, cheeses, you name it. Good peeler, essential. And one that's flat like this is great because you can push the products around once they're peeled, put them into a container, whatever. Two knives. One that you like, good size, you know, this for me works really well. It's a 12 inch and um, yeah, if you want something smaller, that's fine too. Paring knife, you know, for digging, cutting, and so on. Good pair of tongs. Great. These are like your second hand, a pair of asbestos hands. You can turn things over in a frying pan. You can pull things out of the oven. It, it needs to be sturdy though. Something that's going to not bend or fall, you know, and so on. The only other two things we're going to show you two here are this pepper mill. Do you ever put your pepper mill down and notice how all of a sudden there's a bunch of little pieces all over the place? I always keep mine in a little ramekin here. This way I'm done doing my thing. It goes back into the ramekin. I don't have to end up cleaning up all that little mess afterwards. Kosher saw in a, in a ramekin. You can pick it up with your fingers. This way each time you know exactly how much salt you're getting. You remember how much is there. So that goes there. This is really what you want to do if you want to make everything fast and efficient and you know easy. Easy to clean up. This is how you get started. So for more tips and tricks on how to be a better chef, visit me on my website or on Facebook. And thanks for watching.